before we're gonna get to fixing that bug that we found at the end of the previous lesson, I prefer to move some part of the logic from Timeline Items module into the new module, because as we can see in here, this Timeline Item Timer constant, as well as the following functions Start Timeline Item Timer, Stop Timeline Item Timer, and Reset Timeline Item Timer, they all are meant to manage the state of the Global Timeline Item Timer. So let's just cut all these functions from here and create new module with the name Timeline Item Timer. In here I'm gonna paste all that code and now I'm gonna quickly go through this file and import all necessary variables and functions. And let's just quickly switch back to Timeline Items module and from here remove unnecessary imports. And now we just need to fix a couple of imports. Firstly, let's go to Timeline Stopwatch component. In here we're going to import start, stop and reset functions from Timeline Item Timer module instead of Timeline Items. And the same thing we have to do inside main.js. The start Timeline Item Timer function has to be imported from Timeline Item Timer module, like so. And actually I forgot to import one more thing inside Timeline Item Timer module, that is this reactive variable now. Let's add an import for this constant. So in here we can see right away the state of the global timeline item timer as well as all the actions that can be performed with this timer, such as starting, stopping and resetting. So before finishing this lesson let's just open up our application and test a couple of things. Firstly let's start tracking the time and make sure that the time will be increasing on the progress page. Now let's also stop the timer and reset the time. As we can see everything is functioning properly. Let's continue our development in the next lesson.